Hey guys, it's Quartzigos, and she's my little white dragon from Douglas. And over here, I've kind of wanted to show you, I've changed the dragons um, a little bit. Um, I've changed their placement depending on what brand they are, because I wanted to see what they would look like um, if they were together by brand. So, um, over here we've got these two dragons, which are from the, uh, what brand is this? Tiger Tail Toys, and uh, I'm, I have to say I really much prefer this one. I don't really like this one as much, but um, that's because this one is a lot more squishy and cuddly. Stop! <laughs> don't attack her. And then this, these are from. Uh, stop. Okay, you're naughty. You better not do that. Okay. Um, I don't know what brand this is. Oh, the Barrington baby toy, yeah. Oh, I just farted. Okay, well, these are the two Bar Barrington dragons. Um, this one's a Valentine one, which is really, like, lackluster in quality compared to this one. So if you're gonna get either one of these, I really recommend this one. But, um, they're both really cute, so whatever. Um, and then over here we have the... I put these two together because they just look... Like, really good plushies. Why did I cut his tag off? Did I cut their tags off? I did. So I have no idea what brand they are. But my... <laughs> you are problematic. Um, these are Beanie Babies right here. They are really, really nice. I love these two. They were very expensive, though. Because they are so rare. Um, and hard to find. Uh, I got mine from Mer Mercari, I think. Um, but yeah, totally worth it for me because I love them. They're my favorite, some of my favorite dragon plushies ever made. So, and then over here we have the Douglas dragons. I have all the large ones together. Um, I have all of the small ones over there. And then right here we have my little family of, um, Feo Schwartz. These are one of my favorite in dragon brands as well. I tried to put all my favorite ones on the higher shelves, um, or like, I guess, more this area, so I could show them off more. So yeah, as you can see, like, <laughs> I love these ones. I hope they make more colors, like, I would be totally fine with that. <laughs> Probably buy them, you know. And then over here we have, um, just a bunch of randoms, uh, just random, a random group of plushies. Uh, these ones, I'm not really sure what their brands are. This one's Gund. Um, this one is, um, 1616 Holdings, Inc. I don't even know what that company is, but this is a really nice dragon plush. Um, it doesn't have, uh, glass eyes, it has felt eyes. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh. And then this one is a, I don't know what kind of plush this is. This one's made by Flying Tiger. So I don't know what, what that website is really, but this one's a really cute plush. He has a, an open mouth, <laughs> which looks kind of derpy sometimes, but a cute plush regardless. And then, it's kind of dark over here, sorry. What's this dragon plush from? Uni Toys. So yeah, this one is a really nice dragon plush, um, very high quality, but I would say, uh, it is <laughs> kind of an awkward pose most of the time. Let me put it in here. And these are just a bunch of red plushies that I've put together, uh, that didn't really have a place either. I don't really, like, this one's Douglas, uh, this one's also Douglas, and then this one, um... This one is Great Wolf Lodge, which I don't know anything about Great Wolf Lodge. I don't, I don't even know if they have other plushies. I'm sure they do because that seems like a familiar brand, but kind of a weird place to put a tag, <laughs> like right into the plush. But yeah, and then down there are some dinosaur plushies that I have. I just kind of shoved them all in here. Um, and then down there is my sea monsters. Um, I love sea monsters, but there's only two of them, so 
yeah. And then right here are the Demdaco dragons. Um, I really want to do a stuffing surgery on these because these are so stiff. And they just, like, they have no flappiness whatsoever. They're stiff as a board. Like, they're basically just figures um, from how stiff they are. There's no floppiness, none whatsoever. So, and then right here is, I don't know what this, what this one is. This one's a, oh, this is also tiger tail toys, but I feel like it fits in better right there than w up with those guys. Oops, did I press anything? Oh yeah, okay, we're good. Um, and then these guys are, what are these? I forgot the brand of this one. Um, uni toys. Oh, we have some more uni toys ones. Um, I think that's the same as this guy. Yeah, well, I think he's uni. But they're significantly different looking. Oh, wait, was this guy uni? Oh, yeah, this guy's the uni one. So those would actually go together, but um, I didn't put them like that. So <laughs> I didn't put them that way. Um, so yeah, um, these ones, I just put them together because I thought they all, all looked good together. I don't know, no, there's no explanation for why. Um, I don't know. I do things, you know, that I don't explain. Oh yeah, and then up here we have the Aurora dragons. I love these guys. But I put them next to this brand of dragon, which I don't know what, the, what these ones are. Um, I can like look at them real quick this one is um feld entertainment i don't know what feld entertainment is but yeah and then this one is national entertainment <laughs> just these like random brands that like i've never heard of but there's there's a lot of small companies out there that actually produce plush, so... Yeah, and this one also has the felt eyes, once again. Kind of like uh, that one, the little green one. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, I'm a huge fan of these Aurora plushies. I highly recommend these two. Oh, this one still makes sounds. Does this one? No. Just this one. This one makes sounds still. <laughs> The, the roaring isn't that loud at all. It's pretty quiet, actually. Which I like it, because I don't like loud noises. And then this- these brands are super weird. This is also Aurora. I'm pretty- or no. Is this Douglas? It's Aurora. Okay, we're cool. But this brand is really, like, different. Um, it's a Australian brand. And, uh, um, made in China. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I'm not really sure what... It says my... Yeah. It's just kind of like a random Australian brand, I guess. They don't really have a lot of information. Probably on the tag that I ripped off. <laughs> but yeah. Um, they had like some interesting names. But, uh, yeah. I really love this plush. These plushies are such nice quality. They're so soft and they have really nice wings as well. And the wings. The, I like the wings personally because they don't seem to get in the way. And they're just nice. Um, and the horns are nice. And I really just like their design a lot. So, I love these dragons. I hope there's more of them someday. Like, honestly, like, my the best quality plushies in this row are these and these and this one's good good quality too but the wings are really small and sad um and uh yeah those are those are the best quality i think um love aurora aurora has good quality these ones are my niki dragon plushies and you guys already know i have problems with niki because the way that they design their plushies, they are just very lazy with making sure their wings are 
symmetrical and they are just very like they just felt, feel factory, you know? They don't feel like they were made with love. So I don't really recommend the Nikki brand. I think also their faces are pretty ugly. I'm just not a big fan of the weird faces that they make. And, uh, you know, if you like this brand, good on you. At least you have some interest. <laughs> but I don't have any interest in this brand at all. Um, this is a blue one. This one I thought looked kind of cool. It has leather wings. But the wings are also, like, not symmetrical and just... This this brand of Dragon Plush bothers me. And I was lucky to get two that actually look okay. But I have gotten more that look not okay. Like, these are my two-headed ones. And then I also have this green one that just is so disappointing. Because the wings are just so fucked up looking. And I love green dragons, so I'm really sad about that. I like the coloration on this one, actually, but no. You know, like, it's just, these are just a trash brand, okay? Like, they just make trash plushies. They don't care. Uh, it's so disappointing to see. This one's Build-A-Bear Workshop, and this one is, um... Douglas Baby. So it's a Douglas plush, I think. This dragon plush is really weird because it has like a thing on its head and it's just kind of goofy, but I think it's more of a baby toy. I don't know. I thought it looked good though because it, it has a longer body and it has like these cool wings. I liked the wings, okay? I, just, I liked the body. Don't judge me. Um, th these plushies are interesting. What brand are they from? Vermont Teddy Bear. These are really large dragons. They're just massive. Um... But they are really nice. They're very fluffy as well. Um, and I have the blue one. I got the green and blue. First I got the green one from Amazon and then the blue one I ordered from the actual website. Uh, which I don't usually do, but this one wasn't on Amazon, so I went to go find it. And I'm really happy with it. I think, I think their wings are pretty cool. How big they are. You know, they're really nice quality. This wing's a little bent. That's okay. Not a big deal, honestly. They just sit here every day anyway. <laughs> so it's not like I'm like taking them out for ice cream. But yeah, they're really they're really cute. I love these. So so much. Love them. Um where's my snow dragon? There she is. Now I'm gonna show you these guys. These are the fluffy Douglas plush. I love them. There's a pink one, a green one, a gray, and there's my white one, but I don't know if there's any other colors. I would love more colors of these, like, like, um, maybe, maybe a purple, or maybe a yellow, or a red, or orange would be cool. You know, Douglas doesn't make any orange dragon plushies, so they should make an orange one. Kind of add some variety in the colors, you know. And over here is my favorite Beanie Baby plushies that I have. Actually, no. Those are my favorite. Those little, those two right there. But these are like my second favorite. <laughs> um, these four I've had since I was a little kid. I, I've loved these when I was little. I played with them all the time. They are really nice quality dragons. They have these really nice wings. I'm gonna, I'm not lying to you when I say... That I played with these every day of my life when I was a little kid. Like this one, my, like I loved him so, so much. Like I played with him every day of my life and uh, he is just gorgeous, a gorgeous dragon. Very sparkly, very, very beautiful. Beautiful magic little dragon. And we have this little baby one too that I love so, so much. And... I'm going to turn my light off now. Is it better with the light on or with the light off? I don't know. But anyway, we have this one as well. Very, very cute. I just, I love them, so I highly recommend them. This one I don't really recommend because the, the back pieces are really, like, fucked up, you know? Like, like, look at, look at the back pieces. Yeah, so, yeah. Then we have all the Webkins ones. Obviously, the best ones is this one, this one, 
and this one. Um, the least best ones are the purple one because this one has like no neck structure and kind of ugly. <laughs> kind of give me gorilla vibes with this here like eyebrow thing. And I don't like this one because its neck also sucks in structure. It's just terrible. And then this one's kind of cute. I kind of like this one, but I don't like... I don't. Obviously, I don't like two-legged dragons, so I don't really recommend it. Um, but yeah, I don't recommend this one because it's got like such a weird body. Like, why'd they make it look like that, you know? Like, like why did they do that to, to him? But, you know, Webkin's dragons are our bae, you know? So, we collect them. But I really only recommend this one, this one, and this one. This one is the best one, obviously. Everybody knows this. She is superior. She actually has horns. She has a, a really nice neck and really nice wings. And there's nothing bad to say about her, okay? This one has really small wings, and so does this one. Wings are just super small, but they're still really cute, at least. They're really cute. <clears throat> And then over here we have um, some dog toy plushies that I actually started collecting because they have so many color variations. Like, look at them. They're really nice. So I really like them. Uh, we got like a rainbow. We got, a, uh, we got some other tie-dye. Um, this plush I recently got, as you can see. Um, I got him from the local grocery store, actually. It's pretty funny. Um, sometimes they sell plushies there, so I saw a dino, and I'm like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, I don't know. Just a random plush down here. Oh, yeah, this is also a, this is also a beanie, beanie buddy, but it's like a dinosaur, so put it over there for some reason. And then these plushies, I absolutely don't like them. They're very ugly. What brand are they even from? Apricot Lamb. Yeah, the apricot lamb doesn't seem to make very good plushies. These are not very nice. They they might have nice fur, but like their bodies suck and their wings suck and their faces look like footballs, so I don't really recommend them. I got them because I liked their their fur and their colors. And I wanted to see what they were like and just yeah, I ended up not really loving them or not even remembering that they exist. Um so I just kind of don't I just don't recommend them unless you have like a baby that you want to get something for, but they're, you, I don't, I just can't justify them. You know, they're just not really that great. And neither are these rodents. These ones are, I just, I don't like these ones. They just have really weird looking bodies and, I mean, they're better, they're better bodies than them, but they're still very like, what brand are these? See, it doesn't even say because the brand is like such trash. <laughs> such trash. I don't even know what brand these are anymore. I, f I forgot. You see, I removed my tags f from all my plushies because I don't, uh, I don't feel the need to return them or anything. Sometimes I return like a dragon plushie that's just really, really bad, but those are okay. They're all right. They can stay. This one, um, I never removed the tag from because, um, I, f I don't know why, I just haven't. But, like, this is a Valentine's plushie, and it's, I thought it looked really interesting. It's rainbow wings. It's one of those, um, celebrate plushies. And then, yeah, these guys barely even fit inside of their enclosure. This purple dragon is just something else. I don't even know what brand bear co it came with a bunch of like other toys inside of it but i gave those away to my uh to my uh nephew and niece to play with so or did i give those to my cats i don't remember um but yeah and then over here we have this like crazy i don't know what this dragon even is but it's a two-headed dragon and it's got a Japanese tag, so I can't tell you what, what brand it is. Um, I don't know. This dragon is weird. I'm sure if you look up two-headed black dragon, you'll find it. 
but I'm not going to tell you where I found it. I found it from eBay. That's where I found it from. Oh, I'm getting tired. Okay, anyway. This is the Maleficent Dragon plush from Disney. This is a Douglas. This is a Douglas. And this one is a rodent. Although, yeah, this one is from, uh, this one's from Amazon. I think I did a review on this one, how bad of quality it was. It's just a terrible dragon plush. Like, don't get it. Don't buy them. Don't support them. They have terrible quality. They're also, like, 40, what was it, $40 for this one? And there's a green one that's $50, and I just know it's tr it's trash plush, a uh, trash quality, so I'm not gonna buy that one. <sighs> really disappointed man about that okay and now for these top ones so up here we have the small beanie babies so like really the smaller ones basically like whelps got little whelplings right here um this one is super rare so i still have the tag on it <coughs> it's got this like you see i don't know i don't even know what that is but it's really cool, really rare. I found it from Mercari, I think. Or no, I've, I got that one from eBay. Um, this little rodent was $20. This is a Gaines, this is a Webkin's, uh, what's it called? Oh, a Whimsy Dragonkin's Clip. Super, super expensive for a little rodent, but I wanted it, so... <laughs> I went ahead and bought it. And then right here we have these little, uh, just a bunch of Douglas little babies. This one's not Douglas, and this one's also not Douglas. I don't know what, where, what, what brand are you? You're a Wildlife Animals Inc. That one is super rare, bro. I have searched so hard to get this little rodent, and when it came in the mail and it was this size, I was like, Wow, I'm kind of disappointed because I was hoping for a bigger dragon. But this one, it, this one is a really nice plush. Highly recommend. This one's Douglas. Um, I had no idea that was a Douglas plush, but that's a uh, really nice one. Really, really nice. Really nice. Okay, and I fucked up my collection. Here's a new two-headed dragon. I put. I went ahead and put him by the other. Douglas babies. And then right here we have Aurora babies. These ones are super, super cute. Super adorable. And they're really small. There's a green version of them, but I don't know how to get it. It's super rare. Um, I think it comes with like a, uh, like a purse or something. Or no, that's, it's not green. It's, I don't remember. But anyway, I think it's just red. Like pure red. Like with red eyes and everything. <laughs> um, but then right here we have the jelly cats. I hate jelly cats. Don't buy them. They suck. Well, at least don't buy the small ones. The small ones are trash. I just keep them because um, I don't have anywhere else to put them. <laughs> and here's more. I think these are also jelly cat. These are trash as well. These are actual trash. What are the name? What are, what's the brand? Make sure it's jelly cat because I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, this is the jelly cats. This, th these two are trash. Look at their faces. Like, what kind of dragon looks like that? Like, look at... Okay, the ears are really cute, okay? And the horns are cute, and the wings are cute and everything. But this dragon plush, its head is stuck in that direction. And I don't like it, okay? I'm just not a fan. When I first got it, I liked it, but now I don't don't like it anymore. <laughs> I fell out of love with that plush. Uh, these are some more Douglas. These are the smaller versions. You see, I really wish I had the bigger version of this one and the bigger version of this one, but I don't think you can get them anymore. I think they've been gone for a long time. But if anyone knows how to... What the hell is that? Eh, it's a fuzzy... If anybody knows where to find a large version of this, let me know, because I'm desperate. <laughs> I am desperate for it. I would pay for it, like, a lot of money. I would give my cash away. Oh my god. 
anyway no no but seriously like i really want the large version of this i just like i love the larger versions as you can see and they're my babies but yeah and then this one these this is an aurora plush i really love this plush highly 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 recommend it's so so cute i love it so much um it's a it's called a like plopsy or something and then i don't know what this is shining stars rodent i don't like this plush very much i don't like shining stars plushies that much these are also the uh, disgusting apricot, yeah, this is apricot lamb, just a trash, just a trash dragon. Don't get that one. And don't get this one either. What's this one? From the Japanese brand. Don't buy the, <laughs> don't buy, well, this one's actually way cuter, but they're cop, they're just copying Jelly Cat, and I thought they would be actually cute, but they're not. They're just, they're just trash. <laughs> They're just trash. Anyway, I should get rid of my trash plushies, but I had to, I just don't care to, so. Yeah, if I need more space, then I'll get rid of them. <laughs> but, yeah, what do you think, Bensy? Think this was a good video? Yeah. Yeah, you're a good boy. He likes pets. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye!